Breaking news, motorcyclist dies in horrific West Bank Demerara accident. Tragedy strikes on the West Bank Demerara. Early this morning, a young motorcyclist lost his life in a horrific accident that has left a community shaken. Stay tuned for all the details on what happened, why it happened, and what's next for the driver involved. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and updates. Today, we have a heartbreaking story out of West Bank Demerara. Around 2.30 a.m., a deadly accident occurred on Versailles Public Road near the health center, claiming the life of 27-year-old motorcyclist Regan Martin. He was hit by a car driven by Luis Alberto Moreno, a resident of La Grange. The accident has once again highlighted the dangers on our roads, and we'll be discussing the details of this tragic incident. The accident details, according to reports, Moreno's car was speeding south along Versailles Public Road when he lost control and collided with Martin, who was riding north. The impact was so severe that Martin was flung off his motorcycle, landing on the grass parapet, where he unfortunately succumbed to his injuries. Meanwhile, Moreno's car veered into the bushes and ended up in a trench, partially submerged in water. Impact and consequences, this tragic collision was devastating, with Martin losing his life instantly due to the impact. It's a samba reminder of the risks that motorcyclists face on our roads, particularly when other drivers are speeding or not in control of their vehicles. Regan Martin's death has sent shockwaves through his community, and his family is undoubtedly grieving this sudden and painful loss. Legal response following the accident, Luis Alberto Moreno fled the scene, leaving the community outraged. However, hours later, he turned himself into the police, accompanied by his attorney. His decision to leave the scene will likely weigh heavily in the upcoming investigation, and it's now up to the police and legal system to ensure that justice is served in this matter. This incident is a sobering reminder of the importance of road safety. It is crucial for everyone to be more cautious and responsible while driving. The loss of Regan Martin is a tragic example of what can happen when things go wrong on the road. Devastating car crash in cottage, Mahakani Colin Dowden's final moments. Tragedy struck this morning on the public road at cottage, Mahakani, as a horrific accident claimed the life of 28-year-old Colin Dowden. This heart-wrenching incident not only highlights the dangers of speeding, but also serves as a stark reminder of how precious life is. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Today, we delve into the details of this tragic accident and the investigation currently underway. Join me as we discuss what happened in the early hours of September 14th, 2024, how this unfortunate event unfolded, and the devastating impact it's having on the families and communities involved. Let's get into it. At around 3 a.m. this morning, the public road at Cottage, Mahakani, became the scene of a devastating accident. The vehicle involved, motorcar hashtag PJJ2006, was being driven by 23-year-old Shakim Booker. According to reports, 
The car was moving at a high speed when Booker lost control, veering off the road and crashing into a concrete and mesh fence before ultimately slamming into a utility pole. The violent collision left all four passengers severely injured. The passengers included Ron Robertson, age 36, Colin Dowden, age 28, and Tyrese McDonald, a 17-year-old. Despite immediate efforts to save them, Colin Dowden was tragically pronounced dead on arrival at the Mahakanu Public Hospital. The driver and other occupants were stabilized and transferred to Georgetown Public Hospital for further treatment. As of now, Colin Dowden's body lies at Bailey's funeral home, where a post-mortem examination will determine the exact cause of death. The community is mourning the loss of a young man who had his whole life ahead of him, while his family is left to grapple with unimaginable grief. Colin Dowden, a resident of Bellevue, West Coast Burbis, was a promising 28-year-old who touched the lives of many. His sudden passing has left a profound void in his community, where friends, family, and neighbors are struggling to come to terms with this tragic loss. It's moments like these that make us reflect on the fragility of life and the dangers we face on the roads every day. As investigations continue, it's crucial to address the issue of road safety, particularly speeding. Colin's untimely death, is a painful reminder that road traffic accidents remain a major cause of fatalities. We all must take responsibility when we are behind the wheel, adhering to speed limits and driving cautiously, especially on rural roads. The police are working diligently to piece together what led to this deadly crash, and there may be legal consequences for the driver, Shakim Booker, depending on the findings of their investigation. In the meantime, Let's all remain vigilant and cautious on the roads to prevent further tragedies like this one. As the investigation unfolds, we offer our deepest condolences to the families of those affected, especially the loved ones of Colin Dowden. His passing has left a lasting mark on the West Coast Berbers community, and we can only hope that justice is served and lessons are learned from this tragic event. Terror in Ruims 8, businesswoman robbed at gunpoint, police hunt continues. Imagine a peaceful afternoon disrupted by gunfire, as a businesswoman and her workers face the terrifying reality of an armed robbery. This is the shocking incident that unfolded in Ruims 8 last Friday. We encourage you to share your thoughts on this developing story in the comments section below. If you have any new stories you'd like to share, message us on WhatsApp, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other breaking news stories. Hello and welcome back to our channel, where we keep you updated on the latest news and developments in our community. Today's story revolves around a brave businesswoman from Ruims 8, West Coast Demerara, who was robbed at gunpoint in broad daylight. While this incident could have had an even more tragic ending, thanks to the swift action of residents and police, one of the suspects has already been captured, but the search for the remaining three continues. Stick around as we dive deeper into this story of resilience, quick thinking, and justice. Last Friday afternoon, at around 12.40, a 52-year-old businesswoman was in her kitchen, unaware that her life was about to take a terrifying turn. At that moment, Three armed suspects entered her home through the back door, weapons drawn, demanding her silence. The woman, visibly shaken, was forced into her workshop, where two of her employees were hard at work. The armed men robbed the woman of her valuable gold jewelry, including two pairs of bangles, earrings, and a gold ring. 
The employees were also not spared, as the gunmen took their cell phones. But it didn't stop there. The suspects demanded even more gold and money, escalating the tension when one of them fired a shot at the businesswoman, fortunately missing her. As fate would have it, the gunshot alerted nearby residents, who quickly sprang into action. Running towards the businesswoman's house, they realized a robbery was in progress. The suspects made a hasty escape, jumping into a white all-iron motorcar parked nearby. However, the quick-thinking residents blocked the road, causing the vehicle to come to a standstill. Realizing their getaway was thwarted, the suspects abandoned the car and fled on foot toward the Ruimzate backlands. When police arrived, they discovered a man tied up in the back seat of the car. His name is Garfield Benjamin, a fireman and taxi driver. Benjamin claims that he was kidnapped by the suspects and forced into the situation. He stated that the men had approached him earlier at the Vridi and Hoop Junction, tied him up, and used his car for the robbery. With one suspect now in custody, the police have ramped up their efforts to locate the remaining three suspects. Garfield Benjamin's story of being an unwilling participant has been corroborated by the suspect in custody, and authorities are using this information to track down the other accomplices. As the police continue their investigation, residents of Hague have joined the effort, showing how powerful community action can be when it comes to fighting crime. This cooperation between law enforcement and civilians is vital in bringing criminals to justice and ensuring the safety of all. This incident at Ruim's 8 is a stark reminder of how fragile safety can be, but also how important it is for communities to stay vigilant and work together. The courage of the residents, along with the swift action by the police, has already resulted in one suspect's capture, and we hope for further arrests soon. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.